Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're just going to take a quick minute to go through bin labeling. So if you've already set up a warehouse layout and you've got some bins on there, different shelves set up, the next step really is to print out your labels. So you can head, I'm, as you can see, I'm within a warehouse here and going down to the layout and clicking on your bin list. So this is all of the bins that are currently within the warehouse. And to print your labels as one big list, you can head over to the bins and then just select bin print bin labels. And so this is going to generate a list and you'll see that all labels will have a QR code is attached with them. From here, you could print just one single label or you can print all of the labels. You also have the option to adjust what information would be shown on the label itself so that you have more relevant information for your particular use case. Another way that you can print bin labels out, and actually before we go there, let's dive into one specific print. So when we pull up the print dialog, now I'm using the Brother TD4550, which is a thermal direct printer that prints out on generally four inch uh, in diameter and length paper. And I'm also printing on the landscape mode so that it's the print is horizontal. Take a look at the other settings for the printer and you'll want to select your paper size there. Now, typically the best paper size to print on is a four by two. Although, as you can see, when I select that paper size, really nothing happens to the label itself. And that's because the label is generally going to resize given the paper type that you're using. Also keep in mind that if you do have very long bin labels, the label itself, the, the bin name itself may get cut off a little bit. And so it's best to use a label format that would be slightly shorter in that case. The second way to print off your bin labels is to click on the shelves and select a single shelf. And from that single shelf, you'll see that it's highlighted on the map exactly where that is within the warehouse. And then down below, you'll have the list of the bins for this one particular shelf. And from here, you can go over and just select print barcodes. So this again, is gonna enable you to select which levels you want to print for this particular shelf. And from there, we can go ahead and just select print. Again, you also have the label format that you could select. When we hit print, this is going to generate a list of all of the individual labels for a single shelf. So hopefully that's helpful to get your warehouse all labeled. Labeling does help with being able to scan product directly to the bin itself, as well as being able to scan the bin and pull up the information, i.e. where it is, what products are in there, what the quantities are. Uh, and it also helps when you are moving product from one bin over to another bin as well as just simply doing either an ad hoc or purchase order check-in of the product. So hopefully that was helpful and make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We release regular videos. And as always, if you haven't gotten your free SKU Savvy account, head over to skewsavvy.com forward slash register. And we'll see you on the next one.